Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are here with another theory video and this time it is based around the most recent Fantastic Beasts film, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And we're going to be looking into who Credence or Aurelius Dumbledore's mother actually is. Is. If you like this video, as always, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. We make all sorts of Wizarding World content here, and if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then subscribe and come along for the journey. Also, let me know what you think of this theory in the comments below. I do reply to everybody. And again, as always, thank you everyone for the support. I can't believe the growth this channel is still having. It just uh, blows my mind, and I cannot thank you enough. If you want to check out any of my other theories, I will leave the links for some of them down below and also in the cards up in the corner. But let's get into the meat of this theory. Now, we know from the Secrets of Dumbledore that Credence's father is actually Aberforth Dumbledore. This is announced by Dumbledore in the scene where he is talking to Newt in the movie. Now, as soon as we heard this, it begged one question to me, and that is, who is Credence's mother? Because it is not mentioned. The only information we get is that she was a girl from the Hollow. So I've been looking into other families that we know from this time and I think I've narrowed down who his mother is going to be and it's a very well-known family in the wizarding world that we have already seen through the Harry Potter series. So let's start at the beginning. Aberforth was born in 1883 and would have graduated Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardy in 1900. This is going to be around the same time that Credence is going to be conceived because we know that he was on the ship from the Crimes of Grindelwald in 1901 and was a baby at this time. So looking through families that we know were alive around this time and prominent, one family comes to mind and that is the Gaunt family. So what do we know about the Gaunts? They are descendants of Salazar Slytherin, and other than Harry, they're the only people to have the special power of being able to communicate with snakes. So when looking at Credence's life that we see through the films, this starts to make sense because he is the only person that we ever see communicating with Nagini. And we know at this time that she is in her human form, however, she has started her transformation into the snake that we know she becomes during the Harry Potter series. So it's highly possible the reason why Credence is the only person ever seen to communicate with her is because he is actually able to speak Parseltongue. Now I know that that is a bit of a stretch, so let me give you a bit more information to solidify my theory that potentially he is a gaunt. Now let me give you this description and let me see what you think. A very thin person whose bones show through their skin. Now you might have thought that I was describing the word gaunt, but actually I think this series has been portraying Credence as part of the gaunt family from the very start. Because what I was actually giving you a description of is the word bare bones. And that is the name that Credence gets given when he is adopted the first time he comes to America. And I think this series has just been hinting at the correlation between the name bare bones and gaunt from the very beginning. But this still doesn't answer the question as to who his mother is. So let's have a look at what we know about the gaunt family. Now, the only female we know in the Gaunt family at the moment is Merope, and we know that she was not born at this time when Credence was born, so she cannot be his mother. Unfortunately, we don't know anything more about any of the female Gaunts. We don't even know anything about Merope's mother, so maybe we should take a look at her. Now, as I said at the beginning, Credence was conceived in 1900. And that actually does rule out Merope's mother, because at that time she would have just been given birth to Morphin, and I think it is such a short time frame that she would have then been able to meet Aberforth and conceive a child that I think it would just be highly unlikely that she would be Credence's mother. There is another fact that backs this up, and that is what Dumbledore tells Newt in The Secrets of Dumbledore. He says, In the summer that Gella and I fell in love, my brother fell in love as well with a girl from the hollow. She was sent away, there were rumours of a child. So we know that the girl that Aberforth fell in love with was actually from the hollow itself, but we also know that the Gaunts spent all of their life in Little Hangington. So this means that the mother could not be the same mother as Merope and Morphin. So then let's take a further look at the Gaunt family tree. And this is the family tree that we know so far. Don't worry, these extra branches will make sense as we go along. So the family we know initially is obviously Marvolo Gaunt. We've then got his two children, Morphin and Merope, and then obviously Merope meets with 
Tom Riddle Sr. and has their son, Voldemort. So as stated earlier, Marvolo had a wife who was the mother of Marope and Morphin. However, we do not know much about her, but we can look at some of the articles about the Gaunt family and they say as follows. They had a tendency of marrying their cousins to keep their bloodline pure and to keep the traits of their ancestor Salazar Slytherin. Most notably, the ability to speak parcel tongue. So, if that means that they regularly marry their cousins, maybe we could look at his wife potentially being one of his cousins. So, let's go up the family tree a bit more and see what happens when we get to Marvolo's father and also his potential brother. So, let's go with the theory that Marvolo's father had a brother and this brother could have potentially lived in Godric's hollow. Now, if you're only marrying cousins, then you are going to have to produce a lot of offspring to keep the family line going. So I'm suggesting that he had at least three children, and I'm also suggesting that he had at least three daughters. The oldest daughter, I believe, married Marvolo Gaunt, and is the mother of Marope and also of Morphin. He then had two further daughters, which we will now come into. I think the youngest is the daughter from the hollow that Aberforth fell in love with. When they fell in love, they accidentally became pregnant. And when the family found out that she was pregnant by a half-blood Aberforth Dumbledore, they were devastated about their pure bloodlines and moved the family out of the village. As we know happens from what Dumbledore tells Newt. They then potentially moved to Little Hanglington. So during this time, the Gaunts are actually very poor and they know how powerful the Dumbledore bloodline is. So potentially they allow her to keep the baby as a further bargaining chip for later down the line or just to improve their bloodline from the fact that the child will be so powerful and they could just say that he's a pure blood Gaunt. Now we know that some of the Gaunts back in history moved to America from the story of Isolt and the founding of Elvermorny School. So there is a Gaunt family bloodline available in America that potentially is still going to this time when Credence is born. If that's the case, then maybe Credence's mother has reached out to their family in America as a way of escaping the pure blood family that she is part of and running away with her new baby with a chance to potentially contact Aberforth at a later date. I think that she has set up that once the baby is born, she will run away, catch a boat to America and live a new life there. What happens then, we do not know, but I'm going to suggest that potentially she dies during childbirth. However, she has arranged this plan with her other sister, the middle sister that she is closest with. When Credence then travels over to America, we know that he was actually traveling with his aunt at the time. Unfortunately, this aunt obviously dies when the ship goes down in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And Credence, who should have died, actually does not because he was swapped by Lita the Strange. So if this is true, that would mean that Credence is not only a Dumbledore, but also a descendant of Salazar Slytherin and a direct relative of Lord Voldemort. When looking at this timeline that I have made through the eyes of the prophecy, it is also possible that it has potentially taken place. So the prophecy goes as follows. A son cruelly banished despair of the daughter return great avenger with wings from the water a son cruelly banished could link to the fact that he was taken away from aberforth and away from godric's hollow by the gaunt family despair of the daughter is obviously irrelevant to credence's mum as she would want to stay with aberforth because she was in love with him but she was taken away by her family who have got such pure blood views return a great avenger refers to credence in the secrets of dumbledore obviously he wanted to avenge the fact that he was disowned by the dumbledores however this was a complete falsity and with wings from the water could obviously refer to the boat that went down and obviously he was supposed to die in this boat but because of Lita's intervention he did not. But if you don't believe in the boat section of this theory then I have another one for you. When you look at the name of his father Aberforth it actually has a meaning and the meaning of Aberforth is the mouth of the river. So a Dumbledore is born, the Dumbledores are known to have the phoenixes, so he is rising as a new phoenix in the world with wings from the water, the mouth of the river. So there you go, that is my theory as to who Credence's mother is. I believe it is Marvolo Gaunt's 
cousin and he is actually related to Salazar Slytherin and Lord Voldemort as well as obviously being a Dumbledore. Let me know what you thought of my theory in the comments below. I do reply to everyone. And if you want to discuss more things worth the dim world, I will leave the link to the Discord in the description of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this type of content, then please stick around and subscribe to the channel because we do make all sorts of wizard in the world content. But that is it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. But until then, mischief managed.